F-35 Joint Strike Fighter will have a new precision weapon, Stormbreaker, formerly the Small Diameter Bomb 2 or GBU-53B, has now entered the operational test and evaluation phase. Developmental testing and the government confidence testing of Stormbreaker was completed earlier this year. The weapon had achieved a 90% success rate during developmental testing. The U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy have begun Stormbreaker bomb integration activities on the F-35. Flight test is scheduled in 2019. Apart from F-35, it will be integrated to F-18 Super Hornet aircraft. Integration on the F-15E Strike Eagle has recently been completed. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Stormbreaker bomb will be an important addition to F-35's weapons. Let's get started. The Stormbreaker measures 69 inches long, 6 inches in diameter, 68 inches in wingspan and weighs 204 pounds or 93 kilograms. Its small size enables them to be carried in more numbers. F-35 Lightning II, even the Stovall F-35B, will be able to carry eight of these bombs along with two AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles in the weapons bay. This means that fewer aircraft can take out more targets. This will reduce the risk as lesser aircraft are involved in a particular mission and also cost less to the taxpayers. Importantly, since Stormbreaker will be inside the weapons bay and not hooked externally, F-35 will be able to retain its stealthy profile. Stormbreaker has a maneuverable airframe and deployable wings which provide an improved standoff range. The weapon has a range of 45 miles or 72 kilometers against moving target and 69 miles or 110 kilometers for stationary targets. The impressive range and flexibility to target moving as well as stationary targets will greatly improve the lethality of F-35 for grounds attack missions. The Stormbreaker can use a GPS INS system for initial guidance to move into the general vicinity of a moving target and then use updates from UHF data link to home in on the target during the final descent. Importantly, the Seeker in Stormbreaker has three modes for diverse operational scenarios. One, millimeter wave radar to detect and track targets through adverse weather conditions and battlefield dust and debris. Two, infrared imaging for enhancing target detection through heat signature of the target. Three, semi-active laser that enables it to track an airborne or ground target that's illuminated with laser designator. Information is shared seamlessly among all three modes for accurate targeting. Demonstration of the multi-mode seeker's capability was done during a series of captive flight tests completed in December of 2011. Stormbreaker carries a 105-pound or 48-kilogram warhead. The Shape Charge Plasma Jet Technology multifunctional warhead in the bomb has both blast and fragmentation effects. This means that the bomb can be effective not only against unhardened structures, infantry vehicles, but also against heavily armored main battle tanks. The fuse of the warhead can be configured to trigger on impact or at a preset height above the intended target or in a delayed mode. The warhead's capability was first demonstrated during a series of tests in November of 2011. The Stormbreaker has seen interest from other countries as well. The U.S. government has approved the sale of 3,900 SDBs to the Royal Australian Air Force for use on their F-35As. The Republic of Korea Air Force may also be adding the Stormbreaker for its use on F-15K aircraft. Stormbreaker is shaping out well and is expected to play an important role in coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.